Hello and welcome back to the Glorious Gnomes. You may notice the audio is slightly different this time. This is because I'm using a new mic. If anything sounds a little bit weird or a little bit off, please let me know and I will adjust. Now, back to more gnomish things. Gnomish things like Waterdeep. What's gnomish about Waterdeep? Well, I've been told that's the next place we should try and conquer and focusing my idea, like my focus on that, that's not a great sentence, but focusing on that, um, we will need to do one thing. We need to get through this one, essentially. Well, I mean, we could also head here, but this is my new tributary. I don't really want to attack them. So we need to head through uh, Moonshay here. Heading through Moonshay will then give us a direct line directly into Waterdeep, and that will allow us to get it. No problem. However, um, do we have enough troops? Let's have a look. They have 1,000. They have a suzerain of Moonshay, which has 6,000. So they have 7,000 overall. We're currently sitting about just over six, so we're about equal to Munche in size. However, we also have money for mercenaries. Do they have any? Oh, oh, they definitely have money for mercenaries. Okay, so if they wanted mercenaries, they could get them. Okay, but given we're not fighting them and we're fighting Daggerford, there is definitely an argument. Look at the garrison sizes in Daggerford. They're really low. We could probably raise enough troops to just run in there, siege it all down and win before Munche can even mobilize. So that could be cool. That could definitely be cool. Um, so they are being attacked right now by two people. So they're defending against uh, Delimbier Valor in the De Delimbier Valor Loudwater Vassalization War. Okay, so... Or uh, that'll be Valor because it's Delimbier Vale. Uh, so they're not main in it, are they? No, so that's Daggerford... Yeah, so they're just a side person in that one, so it's probably not a big deal. But they're also attacking Chancellor uh, Turk Ock, uh, Shadowhawk. Um, okay, and they're trying to make him pay tribute. But it looks like the Shadowhawk is winning, so that's these guys over here. Oh, those are Hobgoblins. Oh, neat. Okay, so they're attacking the Hobgoblins. So, uh, the Hobgoblins have more troops than they do. So it's probably not going to go too well for them. I think if we were to jump in, we might be able to get something done here. So Neverwinter is in one of these wars, I guess, right? Yeah, they're one of the attackers in the Vassalization War. That's interesting. However, uh, Moonshe are not in that war. In fact, I don't think they're in either war. Okay, so are Moonshe in any wars of their own? There is a revolt, okay, against High King Tristian. And the revolt has 1.5. So at least they're going to have to deal with the revolt. So this might be our moment. I think we're going to see what uh, reasons we have to declare war. Ah, we have a claim on Bowshot, which is the one that's being sieged. Now, the only negative about this is if Neverwinter sieged this land, that means that we cannot get war score off of it until their war ends. And I think their war is unlikely to end anytime soon, and that's kind of where the issues come in here. So we might want to wait till their war is over. Uh, we do have enough money to potentially attack the Haglands, though. I mean, they have 8,000 garrison. We have, what, 6,000 troops? Yeah, so we could get that with um, three mercen Yeah, three lots of mercenaries would allow us to get it. People have also been asking, why don't I upgrade my holdings and make ourselves stronger? Well, the thing is, most of the time you just don't need to. And that's the reason I've not been doing it. Like, unless you're thinking severely long term, like, a lot of the time, we can beat pretty much anyone who's next to us with enough money. So as long as our income is fine, we're fine. But yeah, we could always upgrade these, make our personal holdings better, hold more in, in our domains. We have even more holdings, and then that would allow us to eventually, uh, you know, just fight through people with that. But at a certain point, like, if we wanted to just use our own armies, we just expand enough and then buy retinues. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, we could think about it. There's not a lot else we need to do. We could also attack Corinwood right now, which I think might be my plan a while back when I attacked Sage's Bay recently. So we could attack these ones and just clear up the places nearby us while we wait for this war to go. I think I, I think I like that idea. So we'll clear up these places. So let's have a look here. So that's 4,000 in Uldon. So that seems like a great one to attack. We can raise a ton of troops immediately to get it. Yeah. I think we just do it. We just declare a war in Uldon. Right, let's raise up all of our troops. Perfect. So these guys, that's 5,000. That will actually be enough. You head down there as well. Uh, we don't need you. And we don't need you to. 
Yeah, that's actually gonna be enough without any mercenaries. That's fantastic. Of course I'm gonna call in my tributary. I mean, why did I get them if I'm not gonna call them in? And then we just chill. Fantastic, they're joining our war. There's 2,000 more troops. They don't quite catch us, which is what we're after. Merge up. Uh, they're probably not going to reach. Oh, my wife died of the Great Pox. Oh, no. Um, well, I guess that means we need a new wife. Let's see who we want as a new wife. Do we have anybody weird? Oh, there's a halfling. Halfling's slightly weird. Halfling kinswoman is also slightly weird. Uh, we have a lot of gnomes. We could have some more gnomish children if we wanted to. I'm just seeing if we have anything... We don't have anything extremely odd. Do we have any... We probably don't have anyone in our court either. It was extremely odd, but let me have a look. Yeah, so I want to... Uh, will join court, yes, is a woman. Right, and then I just want to scroll down. Now, nah, so that we only have halflings and gnomes. Nobody else wants to join our court. That's fine, just checking there wasn't anything else in there. Cool. So, uh, let's go and marry... Um... I think I quite like the idea. Oh, wait, that's a gen genius as well. It's fantastic. What's that halfling? I've now lost them again. Oh, dwarf. Wait, was it a dwarf previous? Oh, you're a dwarf halfling. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to go marry the dwarf halfling. That seems like a good idea to me. Merging up. Uh, I think I will wait for this extra hundred. Uh, so that's the war to revoke this land. Oh, wow. We might want to destroy our... Tr Ooh. We really want to declare a war on that and take it while they're currently hostile. Like, while they're currently in a revolt. Okay, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to expand our troops and declare another war. People are still for it? Perfect. So, now I'm going to call in my... Tri uh, call in my uh, tributary. Re-raise our troops and merge up down here. That way we can then... Actually, nobody's appearing here. We'll just go directly in. Fantastic. Uh, okay, what are you doing? Your work in Orbidel. Oh, no, I don't need the claim. Thank you very much. I already have it. Um, we will switch you on to getting us a claim here. Because we already have a claim on both shots. We'll see if we can get multiple claims going on. Right. Merging up. They are, of course, answering our call to war because they don't really have any choice in the matter. We'll tell them to merge onto that army for just now. Right. And this should get us this little bit of land, which will make our name a lot bigger on the map, which, as everybody who's been watching these kind of series for long enough knows, is the whole point. That your name becoming large on the map is the entire reason you would do anything. Right. We have won the siege. That gives us 100% war score. We then offer peace and enforce demands. That's become ours, and the Sword Coast has now become much larger. Wonderful. Right. That was very nice of them to just give us that for free without doing anything. I think that was actually incredibly nice of them, yeah? Yeah. Right. I've defeated that army just because we could on the way past. Now we get to siege this down. I'm just going to wait for the siege, I think. I don't think we're going to assault it. Oh, you got me a claim? Yeah, sure. I'll take the claim. Why not? Uh, Why don't you get me a claim on the next one as well? Like uh, this one. That way we can just claim the whole lot in one go, which would be perfect. Oh, uh, build the fort, build the fort. Still need to get used to that new bit of muscle me uh, memory. Like, they actually build the fort before we you do the war uh, the sieging stuff. I should have been doing that for years. I'm very, you know, I'm actually very pleased at that. Um, like, knowing it exists. Although, of course, with the new Crusader Kings coming out, it's going to be completely irrelevant. But, you know, whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's learned now. Uh, Uldan is completely garbage territory for us. Um, let's have a look. Who, who's it going to be given to? Duchy of the Green Fields? I'd give that to Firewine, I suppose. Yeah, Firewine, I'm going to grant you uh, Uldan. You really like that I did that for you. We can disband our troops. Perfect. So we actually got two provinces in there, which is just insanely good. Right. Um, I think we should grab Karnwood next, right? This one we are definitely going to need mercenaries for, though. Hmm. I might just wait, like, a month. Yeah, there's the monster mobs dying. Ooh, credible sightings of the Great White Stag. Let's go get it. So, Great White Stag. Are we going to find it? We've got our followers and our hunting dogs. 
We have a new grandson. Wonderful. Uh, my lover Ella is uh, pregnant with my child. What wonderful news. What wonderful news indeed. After many uh, days of hard hunting and tracking, you have finally managed to trap the white stag in a cul-de-sac between two rocks. The great animal is at your mercy. It looks at you with intelligent eyes and you are suddenly struck by its great beauty. Oh wow! I don't remember the last- I think I've had this event once in my entire time playing before. It's crazy. So either way we get Master Hunter, so it's like we will either not kill it, or its head will adorn my wall. You know what? I cannot slay such a noble animal. Let's see what happens. That might be the end of it. Maybe. I think that is the end of it, yeah. Hey, we're being raided by Nembar. It's not really on. Form an alliance. Who are you? Oh, you're King Costi of Sosil. Oh, right, yeah, I, I remember you, sort of. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how useful we're going to be to each other if I'm 100% honest with you there, bud, but I'll accept it. We can always say no and become an alliance breaker. Uh, a, talent, a young, talented artist from the Coastway proposes to paint an iconic portrait of Darith Yejin of Sword Coast. Uh, everybody hates us or we're good. Uh, I think we'll have we're good. Right, um, I do... Need, I think I want to change my focus. We've already got Master Hunter, which I think lasts forever. So we might change our focus to something else. Um, we don't need the health, because as we've seen, uh, with I think our great-grandmother, we keep heading back up somewhere. Yeah, our great-grandmother is still alive at 201 with no bonus health traits. In fact, with minus health. So I actually kind of get the feeling gnomes might not die of, uh, you know, natural causes that often. So, we might not need hunting, so what are we going to go for? I don't know. We've already had business, we've had hunting. Uh, I don't really need family, I don't need more children. Theology... I'm trying to think what things get you. Uh, carousing can get rid of stressed, which is quite nice if we wanted to not be stressed any longer. Hmm. But then you actually have to go and click people and say, I want to carouse, which is... I, I kind of dislike the ones that involve any amount of micro. By micro, I mean like anything where you have to actually actively go out of your way to do things. Anything that slows the game down. So, things like hunting, you just get events. Things like war, you get events. Family, you get events. Carousing, you have to go and click on people. Seduction, you have to go and click on people. Intrigue, you have to go and click on people. You have to have a purpose for these uh, three here. Um, I think the rest of them are actually, like, yeah, they're fairly neutral in that regard. Um, I think we might go Scholarship. I think it has some weird stuff that you can get with Scholarship. Maybe? Yeah. Also, we can build an Observatory, which is neat. For 25 gold, I think it's usually 50. It must be decreased in the mod, or maybe it's decreased by level and I only ever use it as an Emperor. Yeah, in fact, that's probably it. It probably decreases per level and I only ever use it when I'm in charge of an Empire. That would be it. Oh, we still have some armies raised. Ah, yes, of course. Those guys and those two. Cool. Right. Keep it going. Um, right. Uh, one of our vassals can be discouraged from joining in factions. He better not be in any. Yeah, he's not in any. He He's the person who we uh, have just given all that land to. Let me just see here. We can raise up a couple of our own troops here. And then we can go get rid of those raiders. That seems like a good idea to me. Just to stop them being here. Uh, this guy has usurped a title. He's in Cormier. Okay. Head over this way and beat him up. Uh, a son was born to Darandar Yobar the Just and Ella of the Wilds named Quarian. Or Quarin? Quarin. Uh, yeah, of course we're going to legitimize him. Who cares? Chaos. You know? A little bit of zaniness. Who's that in here anyway? That's Theon. I don't even know who Theon are. Oh, there there's more monsters. Oh, they're the lower-leveled monster mob. Huh. Interesting. I didn't know that they could raise troops like that, but okay. Hey, you've converted Candlekeep to my religion. Wonderful news. Go to Baragos and do the same thing. It really doesn't do very much converting it to your religion, I think. I mean, like, what's this? It doesn't really even say it does anything. Uh, oh yeah, it adds revolt risk. That's it. But uh, your national revolt risk can still lower it to zero. So, it, it's not actually that meaningful, but, you know, it's still okay. 
Um, right, so this one is very into learning, but learning focuses in general are bad. However, he is like the ninth sibling, so maybe I'll just give him a faith education. Um, because the chances of him ever actually getting any sort of power is about zero. Yeah, so that was Vorpus. So, he's the legitimized bastard and he's seventh in line in terms of siblings. However, that's not seventh in line because each sibling has like five children. So that actually puts him like 35th in line or something like that. Yeah, he's a, he's a little bit, you know, out there. We can discourage my mother from joining faction. She'd never join a faction against us. Ah, we can marry our kinsmen. Oh, of course we will. That sounds fun. Right. Your observatory is finally ready. It is with great anticipation you prepare to make your first observations. I wonder what strange things I will discover. Well, yeah. Wonder what. Uh, so she's arrived at our court. We could also go attack the Haglins right now if we wanted to. There are a couple of options. I think I actually, I still want to attack the guys down here. Nembers kind of annoying me, but they do have 3,000 troops just sitting there as well now. Oh, they only have 2,000 garrison. I'm going to attack Nember. If they only have a 2,000 man garrison, we can just take him out. No problem. Uh, I only want to call in this one, my tributary, because my tributary doesn't care that I keep calling them to wars. Uh, I don't want to call in my actual ally. Oh, but apparently because they won't actually come because it's not actually an option to call them in. But also because... Um, uh, also because... Uh, where are we at? Oh yeah, because they're the other side of the map. I was I knew I had a good reason and I was just kind of... I thought if I just start my sentence, the end of it would just appear. Apparently not. They do have a lot of troops there actually, but the garrison is really low. Yeah, yeah. That should be fine. As long as we wait for them to leave, these 3,000 are just going to sit there. So that's good. Right. Arrange betrothal. A revolt would like to marry my granddaughter. We're going to say no because you don't ever really want to marry revolts unless you think they're going to win. The reason you don't want to do that is obviously their power is fleeting. So it's not always going to be there. Uh, please come and join my army. Hey, they are coming over here. My son, Prince Yejin, is not feeling well. He has cancer at 47. Well, judging by our mother, it's not a death sentence for uh, gnomes, so that's fine. Right, and just march our way down here. There's the uh, Cormirian War to make Axlord Barden the just pay tribute. Okay, well, at least it's not us. That's pretty much where all of these go. At least it's not us. That's really annoying, actually, what they're doing there. I'm just going to assault down twice, and then I'm going to leave. Yeah, I'm going to head to Nashkel. And hopefully being around the corner will do... Maybe to Berghost? You have spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It's truly fascinating. There are so many questions to ask. Uh, is there something strange out there? I'm trying to get out of vision of them. So that uh, they will go back and siege it. I don't know if that's possible though. Hmm. Yeah, so they're just going to sit there. Now, are those um, ones underneath, are those raiders forever? They're vent spawned, so if we were to go in and attack and lose the battle, we would still win, because their troops would permanently die. Oh, wow, they, yeah, this is the child who has nothing. They have no redeeming features. You know what? Have another faith education. Yes, you're being chucked to the faith to educate, as we don't want to deal with you. Right, um... So this is going to sit there forever, huh? I think I might hire some mercenaries. That seems like a sensible move to me. Let's hire that many. I think that'll probably do, actually, because I think that now we will have the commanders to beat them. Are they in... They're in step. So step is basically like plain, so you get no bonuses, so... At least you get no bonuses in the base game. Let me just double check. Yeah, no bonuses. It does show you there, doesn't it? Or am I thinking of EU4? Oh yeah, it does show you there. Perfect. Right. So we have less troops, but our commanders are fantastic, so I think that we will win. Yeah, so this side lost automatically, because the other problem that they have is that their troops are all in the center flank. So our center needs a lot to hold, but right now, we're getting a flanking bonus because their left's already lost. We're going to win the right as well, and then it's gonna, we're going to have double flanking bonus. So if I slow that down, the center should start to lose, and then we win the right, and then we win. Let's see. Yeah, oh, so our center is actually holding. That's even better. 
One moment I'm shouting orders surrounded by the clanging of swords and fighting around me. Then my memory fades and I find myself on the ground lying in a mixture of blood and mud, my ears ringing with pain. A soldier runs past me but he seems to assume I am dead. Why does my head hurt? You gingerly pull the spear from your cheek, it is more than a grazing wound. We're disfigured and severely injured. What are you? You're a drow. Okay, you look really cool. I love it. Um, I don't love that we were severely injured, but yeah, you'll see here, even though we're severely injured, it doesn't actually affect our ability to command. So, we kill the right. Then we switch to um, flanking the middle, so we have two flanking bonuses and their middle should just fall. Almost immediately. Yeah, perfect. Right. There we go. So we now hold uh, their bit of land here. We also got no war score for it. I believe we got no war score because the leader of the battle was the Theon Raiders. And the Th we're not at war with the Theon Raiders, so it didn't count as a war towards this. It didn't count as a battle towards this war. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Um, so, the, what's this? The Nilathander Islanders are being attacked in a du jour war. Oh, by Am. That's a very interesting one. Cool. Oh, build build the fort, build the fort. Yep, yep, I'm with you. Build the fort. Cool. Um, Yeah. Oh, our uh, son Yejin just died of cancer. Oh no. Apparently not every gnome is immune. <laughs> okay, so our granddaughter is now next in line. Interesting. Yeah, and then that would make our great granddaughter here the next next in line. She's weak. We're not into that, but that's okay. Right. Interesting. So our granddaughter's not that bad in terms of stats. I mean, some of them could be a lot better, but at least the stewardship's fine. Stewardship is one that you really care about because it allows you to hold all your provinces, it allows you to make money. It basically makes the world go round. Observing the stars at night, you've begun to sense some irregular movements. You also notice that some stars appear to be uh, seem to appear and disappear at odd moments. You need to study this more. Oh no, we've become paranoid. That's not a good one. That means that you get a lot of events that say like, somebody's trying to kill you, when nobody's trying to kill you. You know, basically general paranoid stuff. And we've now defeated uh, Nembar's first one, so we can start assaulting down the rest of them. I like that they built up the whole place for us with lots of temples. It really makes me uh, very happy. We will then offer peace and enforce demands. Nice, we've got the county of Nembar. Or Nember? Nember. Right, Nember, what are you... Oh, we can actually build a new holding and destroy the tribal one. I might be into that. Oh, it costs so much money, I'm not that into that. Uh, what's this du jour part of? Ah, over here? Hmm. I think we might hold on to it and then uh, go over here and take Old Well and give that all to somebody. Wait, are these all held by monsters? They are. But they're all about to die, right? Yeah. Okay, and we also got 300 gold from it. <laughs> Roughly. Yeah, I was just thinking there. Monsters aren't allowed to hold land. And then they all died. Cool, so we just gave away those holdings to a random person. Uh, we could, we now actually have enough almost to replace one of these with like a castle. Which would be interesting. Apparently the fort will be removed and contribute as a discount. Is that already the discounted price? That seems incorrect in terms of numbers, but hey. Whatever. I'm not bothered about it. Um, how much does it, like, how strong are these guys? They have 5,000. How many troops do we have available? Not 5,000. We need a little bit of reinforcement to happen. Where do we need it, anyway? Where, where's completely uh, unreinforced? I mean, this one is, but it has zero levy, so that doesn't really count towards any numbers. So up here? Uh, this one's extremely unreinforced, yeah. So that's the one we're after up there. Cool. Um, although I think we had more before it anyway, but that doesn't matter. Right. My lover is informed me she is pregnant with my child. Oh, another one. Nice. Who are you trying to kill? My wa my wife is trying to kill someone. Mergy. I don't know what Mergy did, but um, I mean, he, he has held land for a really long time, hasn't he? Um, so this is Ever Everesca as a start with the county of uh, Decanter from these guys. Okay. Oh, and that means that, yeah, that means that Najara are now strictly in these two provinces. They've completely ceased to exist. Cormier took half of them. Well, well, Cormier took half, Everesca took 25, we took 25, right? 
it, it, they, they were completely and utterly removed from the map. It actually looks, if you were to look at the just pure map size, it almost looks like it's um, sizing up to be us versus Cormier. However, we have 9,000 troops and Cormier has 24,000. So they're doing what people are suggesting and probably upgrading their holdings, right? That'd be my guess. Yeah, so they have fully upgraded holdings, which I think they started with, to be fair. So um, that is something. We could also plan to switch our capital at some point. Baldur's Gate would be a great one. However, we would have to revoke it, and I don't really feel like revoking anything right now. Is there anything else that's good? How about uh, Waterdeep? Is it good? Waterdeep's a pretty good one to hold. When we get water uh, to Waterdeep, we might make that our capital, because it is very good. It's not quite as upgraded as Coast Way, but it has a lot of cool stuff. So that might be a cool place to upgrade to. Let's see if there's anywhere else. I was told Neverwinter, I think, is the place to go after that. Uh, there's Neverwinter. Yeah, it's fully upgraded. So yeah, Neverwinter might be a great capital eventually. Although that's probably going to be nearing our uh, end goal. So at that point, it's going to be like a bit pointless. Oh, we have these troops here. I don't know where they came from, but we'll disband them anyway. Those are my raiders? How do I have raiders? Oh, because these guys had raiders. We now have raiders. Okay, so we inherited their raiders. That's intriguing. Um, yeah, so you can have a martial education. Yeah, that seems fine. I was just thinking if there was any reason not to. Uh, let's put in charge this guy. So what can we do for raiders? They're event spawned, right? We have 3,000? Oh! We have more raiders. Yeah, go over here. Fantastic. So we actually have 3,000 troops. That's sweet. Yeah, love it. Now, we can't actually make raids happen um, because, like, we're not somebody who's allowed to raid. If we go and find a monster mob here, it'll say somewhere down the bottom. Uh, where is it? Rulers can raid infidel neighbors for loot. If we go and have a look at ours, it says nothing of the sort. So that's why we can't do it. I think you can, it can also happen on culture. So if we go and have a look at their culture. Well, it doesn't say it there, but I think you can also have it happen in culture. Either way, these don't these aren't actually raiders for us. These are just 3,000 troops, which in of itself is actually pretty sweet because we can use these 3,000 troops instead of mercenaries for the next war, which all seems good to me. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm going to end the episode here, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.